I am a Hindu girl. I was in a relationship with a Muslim guy for three years. We were in a kind of live-in relationship. However, through him, I started liking Islam. Now he has dumped me without any reason. Will Allah be angry with him? What punishment will he get? I cry every day thinking of him. We both are from India but studying abroad. Regarding this uh, Hindu sister, that she says that she was in love with a Muslim boy and they were living in a live-in relationship, that means living together without getting married and staying together and, and you know what happens. But after some time he left her and he dumped her but she got close to Islam because of him and now she cries thinking about him. Her question is that will Allah punish her and what punishment will he get? Number one, live in relationship in Islam is haram. It's not permitted at all. A girl and a boy who are nam haram living together is totally haram in Islam. Only after marriage can a husband and wife live together or brother sister fine but the unknown man and woman unless they marry they cannot live together live in relationship just to experience that's haram so for that it is a major sin because in live in relationship there is illicit uh, relationship and it becomes the tenth major sin in Islam adultery or fornication and Allah will punish him for that. Then your question was that you cry and thinking about him. My suggestion to you, sister, is that I would look at it in a different way. In your question, you said that because of that boy, you came close to Islam. So according to me, if I was in your place and you started liking Islam, what I would have done? I would have actually thanked him because he has brought you close to Islam. What he has done with you is wrong. I am not condoning him at all. If he left you, for what reason he left you, I don't know. But if he has promised you that he is going to be with you and he left you, it is haram. There may be various reasons unless we don't know the reasons why he left you, I may not be able to tell. But live in relationship itself is haram, he will be punished for that. But the good point in this, the silver lining in this is, that because of him you came close to Islam. It is like someone giving you a million dollar and then robbing one thousand dollar from that million dollar and you're crying. Why did he rob that one thousand dollar? You should not be pessimistic, you should be optimist. You should be happy. He gave you a million dollar. He robbed one thousand dollar is wrong. But he's given you a million dollar. From that million dollar, nine hundred ninety-nine thousand dollars is yours. He only robbed one thousand dollar. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number two hundred sixteen, that you may hate a thing which may be good for you, and you may love a thing which is not good for you. Allah knows, and you don't know. So in this situation, if that boy has got you closer to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, has got you closer to Islam, and you have learned tohid about it, then it is worth it. If he, has, if he has ditched you, he has done a mistake, Allah will punish him. What my suggestion to you sister is that if you have come close to Islam, accept Islam, study Islam, I'm sure you may be believing that there's no God but one God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You should not associate partners with that God. You should not do idol worship and believe that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is the last and final messenger. If you believe that there is no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, you become a Muslim that is worth more than all the wealth in the world. Million dollars is a small example. Because on the day of judgment, the unbelievers, when they will be put in hellfire, they will not complain to Allah that you are unjust. They will say, we do not mind giving you the full world and the wealth in it. To save us. But God will say, Allah will say it's too late. So what you have got is a treasure sister. Love it and cash it. See to it that you practice Islam. Surely you will find some good Muslim boy who will like you, who will marry you and inshallah your life may be better. Maybe later on you will thank Allah that okay it was infatuation that I liked the previous boy. 
but the new person who you have married will turn out to be a better husband will be love will be loving you more so look at it in the positive sense and maybe you start doing dua to the boy that left you so look at it with an optimistic view sister not a pessimist view and inshallah maybe you start praying for him that what he has done is brought you closer to Islam